Now, let's go back to our php.ini file and have a look. We've got error reporting currently set to eat all. So we are reporting errors back to ourself um, as we're developing. Now, what happens if I want to report errors, um, strict errors, for example? Well, this doesn't include e strict. So what I can do is I can specify to say and e underscore strict. Now what this is going to do is it's going to incorporate strict errors. So what we're talking about is code that will might run, but uh, let, well let's have a look at the definition. It might run, but it um, it's it's uh, yeah. runtime notices enable PHP suggest changes to your code which will ensure the best um, interoperability and forward compatibility of your code. So it's basically giving you messages about your code itself rather than errors that you might be coming across. So you don't need to include this but maybe it's a good idea if you want that kind of error reporting uh, to show. However, we've used this ambassand here but what we can do is we can say let's say e or and use this symbol to say um, well we can say ambassand as well. We can say not including e something else so we could say not including e notice i've just noticed as well this example is actually written up here um so yeah i wasn't looking at it but coincidence so uh, error reporting e or an e notice so what you could do is you could specify it like this which will show all errors except for notices and coding standard warnings um, so it's not going to show uh, coding. It's not going to show notices, and the coding standards warning is the e strict part of it. So remember, eL doesn't show e strict. Now, if you wanted to show um, um, code standard warning, so uh, coding standard warning, sorry, you could just do this. So you've got e strict here. So it's up to you what level of output you want. You can me mess around with this, and once you've got your application maybe built a bit bigger, you can turn this on, have a look, I mean, and keep it on anyway. But um, it's a good idea to fiddle around and see what you can come out with on this. Uh, especially if you're getting a blank page, you can change this to say just e or. So when you finish developing. Um, on your web server, you should probably always turn this off. Um, why? The reason being is that if errors do occur on your page, especially e strict notices, you don't want your viewers to or your visitors on your website to be seeing e strict notices, nor do you want them to see errors if you've maybe um, trying to include a file somewhere, for example. If you're trying to include a file somewhere and it can't be found and you're returning an error, What's happening is then they're understanding the structure of your website. So for security reasons, it's probably best to turn error reporting to zero, either on your local or web server when you release this to the public. So you, if you were say have paid server, paid hosting, um, you might not be able to get access to PHP.ini. However, you can use a couple of functions to change values, and that's what I'm going to go over uh, just now. So. What happens if we want to dynamically update this value inside PHP? Now let's close php.ini and we'll have a look um, inside here. So what we can actually do is, um, let's get rid of the outside content as well. What we can actually do is we can specify error reporting either like this. So we can say error reporting zero. Um, I don't think it's working on my installation at the moment yeah uh, let's just get rid of that see what happens yeah okay so error reporting zero um, you can then change it to say e all um, and then refresh the page and you can see oh no we're not getting that back maybe we could no okay so it's not working on my my installation just yet however you can use error reporting um, maybe on like a public server you can also use things like um, ini set is a great function to up update values in your php.ini so we can say P uh, ini set error reporting e all so then i don't think this is going to work either for my installation no but um the idea of this is that you are dynamically setting your INI file or you're just using the error reporting function on its own um, to uh, change these values.
I think with the ionized set you don't need to include these so it's just like that um, regardless of whether it still works on mine no it doesn't so that's a bit about error reporting and how you can um, produce either produce errors or hide errors from either yourself or the public and um, a bit of information about why you should turn it off um, as well as some examples of setting this up um, on the fly.